guys. I got kids, bro. You're gonna play a little uh, Grim Dawn. It's being made by Creative Entertainment. Um, the developers from Titan Quest are working on the project. I think it's like six people, and they use the same engine. It pr it's pretty much Titan Quest, just new story, new game. So, uh, with that said, Titan Quest is pretty awesome. So this game should be should be pretty good. Um, multiplayer isn't up right now. Um, as you can see, there will be multiplayer, which will make the green the game a lot better. Name my character real quick. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and create. There is no character customization yet. This game is in alpha. So, so we do here. Got some, uh, it's not bad graphics. Kind of point and click. Hit your health bar. That is, I guess, your, your mana, which is energy now. Character trait. You got maps, quest, character, quick slots, mana, energy, and, uh, your weapon. So let's get into it. Well, well, they tried to hang me. It's always nice of them. Apparently, I was possessed. Go talk to Captain Borbin. Uh, welcome to Grim Dawn. Thank you again for supporting us and helping to make Grim Dawn possible. We hope that you enjoy the first portion of the game. Please remember that this is pre-release build created by Six Person Indie Studio. You will encounter bugs, incomplete features, and only the first one third or so of the game. We welcome our, your feedback on bugs and general gameplay. Yeah, so six people are making this game. And so far it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna read all this to you. I'm just gonna kinda get into it. Your map got uh, looks like got some waypoints. Got some bodies. Get some potions. Yeah, so it's just just a left click. That's all it is for attacking. This feels just like Titan Quest, which is awesome. There's nothing wrong with Titan Quest, so. Got some crits. And, as you can see, as soon as I went out of combat after a little bit, I uh, had some uh, health regeneration, and it was pretty quick. Jackets got more armor. Little mini map. So I didn't really read what the captain wanted me to do, but I'm guessing I have to figure out why there's so many dead people walking around. This also kind of feels like a, like a Diablo playthrough too, if any of you uh, play Diablo. Nothing new over here. As you see, you got your little uh, experience bar right in the middle.
game's got a nice feel to it, though. It's pretty, uh... It's pretty basic, but it's pretty fluid. And it's only an alpha, so... class and later on you could dive into another one and you can combine classes and uh, the same thing goes <laughs> for this game you can do the same thing so I just load up and uh, here's your, uh, your classes for right now soldier dem demolish demo binoculist and a uh, a night blade. Um, I guess for right now we'll just go with a soldier. <laughs> just like Titan Quest, you had the your skill bar down here that you had to put skills into to unlock the skills up top. Just uh, the one, the other one went uh, from left and then up. This one's going right and then sideways. So all three into it. Each one, just the same thing. Uh, melee, cunning, health, energy, blah, blah, blah. And then I unlock the first row already. Next we need 5, 10, blah, blah, blah. Same thing. Kicked him down doors like a boss. and I hit L. I thought it was for a log book, but apparently that is a personal rift. To go back to town whenever you want. No, no portal scrolls or anything like that. So, eyes for inventory, Q for quest, serial. So I'm probably gonna enter a cave. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I do like to explore, so in my videos I will pretty much be exploring everything I possibly can. So, shouldn't be that hard. She, let's see if it gets better. Hopefully, it gets better because uh, you regenerate pretty quickly. So, hope there's a little more difficulty to the uh, whole combat system. I guess I can 
do this. Retrofactions. I guess these are bad guys. Aetherals. Yeah, survivors. Um, Zeke, cutting in spirit. So I guess Zeke is for your melee. You only get one point per level up, I guess. But it does it by eight, so it's not too bad. Oh, I'm dying while you're paying attention. Yeah, it's almost kicking my ass. Oh well. Just pay attention a little more. This is a very beautiful game. Um, hopefully it comes out like that when my video is done. Everything's very fluid. Looks very nice. Did a good job. So for six people and uh, doing it, and for it being an alpha, this game has a uh, looks like it has a lot of promise to it. So hopefully uh, they finish it up. sort. That's kind of nice. Makes everything a lot easier for you. That guy's having a bad day. He got burned and hanged and cut in half. He's having a bad day. The saw blade doesn't look like it's doing too much damage. I'm going to have to switch back. I think I, uh, I think I read around level 8 or 10, you can pick your second class, and then uh, you can combine that class, just like Titan Quest, and create a whole nother new class. I don't know if I'm going to make a new one in this one. Um, it does give the option to do a lot of repl replayability, though. First one for skills. Your second tree is is passive. Just like every other one is, so it goes uh, skill, passive, skill, passive, skill, passive, passive, and then this one is a mixture. And then you get your max, your ultimate. Um, what's this? Oh, 
that's neat. You can uh, you can assign health potions to the right mouse button or whatever you want. So I've been playing for a couple minutes and I pretty much already have all my uh, info slots filled up. Just missed some shoulders, two rings, and an amulet. stuff. This one does uh, two armor and pierce resistance. So they pretty much rolled everything from Titan Quest over here and kept the same except for the new story and new gameplay. That's everything else is Titan Quest. Which is nothing wrong with it. So like I said Titan Quest is an awesome game. You could uh replay it and replay it again and again. So I don't think I trapped myself here. <coughs> Alright, well let's just continue up up the map here. Let's see what's going on. and it attacks you. Oh, as soon as you destroy it, it goes away and it kills whatever it spawned. So, our crystalline shard still lingering with aetheral power can be used in the creation of arcane items. Uh, okay, so it's, uh, it's just crafting, so you can craft stuff.
I have to go back to town before I uh, continue. Oh, that guy died and left the big point of this cloud. And they're yellow. They're called the uh, Wetchers. You got the Walking Dead, which is the regular one. So just careful which one you kill if you uh, decide to play this game. Um, and notice how every time I switch out an item, it updates my character's armor and what he looks like, which I love about games. Because there are some games out there that they just give you armor and you always look the same and it's kind of stupid, so... Let's go back to town real quick. Alright, so I just want to kill some dead. Got a merchant. Wow, looks like everything's pretty expensive. Uh, the models are pretty much exactly the same as Titan Quest. Except Tank West doesn't have guns, but so you got your melee, your guns, your shield and armor, your potions and whatnot, and then your buybacks. All right, click sells. skill, but it's not, so. Looks like it's hitting pretty good for 12%. Let's put my health potion to right click, just in case.
use two health potions, so it's not that it's not that easy right now. It's still, I mean, it's still pretty easy. I'm pretty much using one hand for this game. Looks like some bosses in here have some some mechanics. You know, dodge the crystals that he's throwing around, obviously. And I get wasted by him. Trying to keep that damage control down. Control down. So, I mean, they're not hard mechanics, but at least it has something. stuff for you. Starting to get over on there, starting to die. <laughs> um, if the is not too hard for you, or if it's not hard enough for you, um, if you go back to the character menu where you uh, made your character, you can always hit hardcore. And uh, I think it ups the difficulty. And uh, pretty sure if you die, you're uh, you're done for the rest of the game. So. Just be careful with what you pick. Probably check it out later on in another video. Once I get the basics down. some experience. Um, I don't know what what it unlocks when you uh, get your rotation up, but I'm sure you get like discounts or something like that, I think. Alright, now I just gotta go around town and find people to help. Alright, 
so I'm gonna find scrap metal. I have to find an apprentice. Gotta kill some zombies. And that is that. Alright, so I'll open up a new, uh, oh, I'll open up more of the town. Kinda nice. More quests. Rich smuggler. Alright, so this is your stash. Uh, I guess, uh, just like Diablo, all your items can be transferred to, uh, to all your other characters. If you get, uh, something you can't use, you can stash it real quick and use it later. So it looks kind of, kind of convenient. It's kind of nice. Kids, the orphanage. Everyone's pretty on edge right now. Got lots of zombies. Going around killing people. Alright, ski skill uh, relocation. This guy can. Uh, Take away skill points that uh, you put in that you didn't want for a fee, of course, just like every other game. And then you can uh, redistribute them to uh, where else they need to go. So yeah, well, uh, I'm going to stop my video here, and uh, tell me what you think, um, what you liked, what you didn't like, it's my first Let's Play, um, I know, uh, so yeah, this is, uh, I got Kids Bro here playing Grim Dawn, so uh, thanks for watching.